Hey there folks, Rel here. Welcome to another episode of uh, Uncut, which is a series dedicated to playing through the game, sharing my thoughts, and kind of giving you some some maybe helpful, uh, maybe not so helpful advice as we uh, as we move through it. So it's, it's definitely live commentary. I'm using my headset mic. It's going to sound a little bit different. And uh, also, just for your awareness, I tried to record this like four times so far and NVIDIA kept crashing my game when I was uh, saving the replays. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Maybe I can actually get a good commentary. That'd be nice. But uh, I've been playing a little bit today. Oh, I had no idea this was here. Um, but uh, yeah, I have been playing a little bit already today and I was getting wrecked. <laughs> I was getting wrecked earlier. There's, there's no way around it. I wanted to um, to share that experience actually, but but couldn't find um, or couldn't you know save the uh, games. But uh, okay, let's you know deal with it. But the um, gameplay here is I'm actually I'm just like wandering around right now. That's that's what I get for trying to talk. But we're gonna be playing some some various classes. Just kind of running through it. Right now I'm using the. Oh, so good, so good. I love the uh, the Razor because it has consistency, right? Slightly low rate of fire, it's 550 rounds per minute um, with 167 damage model. But the the accuracy is, ugh, it's just so good. It's just so good. As long as you don't bring it to close quarters, you can, uh, we're gonna get steamrolled by weapons with you know higher rate of fire. You can, you can do so much with it. Hey, buddy. It's funny shooting, uh, shooting bad guys. In the, oh, we don't have the region anymore. Okay, so shooting bad guys in the back of the head is, uh, it's actually a little bit difficult because the animations, their head will will duck down, which makes it, uh, like you'll whiff your shots. And let's see, there's a mine right there. So he's probably blind. I'm actually going to go in for the quick kill. There it is. Yeah, not too bad. We can't actually do anything here. <laughs> but maybe if they can... How are they doing? Taking it back, even though we have 70% pop. No, not yet. But I do want to hold this position because we do have 70% pop. Oh, come on. One. Oh, it's just so so good if you can place the place the uh, crosshair correctly. I'm having some hard time with that, but uh, we just want to romp around for a little bit, stay here, try to pick them off as they come to us, and one, two, and just just hold it down. Come on, coming up. Oh, go, 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 go! They're, they're chasing me right now, I think, so. What?! Yeah, that was a little bit strange. I'm, like, out of ammo here. He decided to jump, which was a really bad idea. So I just, you know, try to crouch and get back some of that, some of that accuracy. Going to drop in. Actually, can't do a whole lot to this blockade under, so I'm gonna detonate that. Move over here. Maybe get the knife. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And I get killed by a friendly. I would have died anyway, but you know, it's just hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of expected. Did the guy yet? Uh, one minute, one minute, twenty seconds. Okay, so we can kind of play up in here. A little bit. Yeah, population is still 70%. Got a sniper up there. Hopefully he won't be able to hit me. I'm just going to keep keep it weaving. Yeah, missed shots, missed shots. Don't mind if I do. You going you gonna to cover me, buddy? Okay, well, there's a harasser up there now, so that's... Uh, should have a little bit of security. Oh yeah, yeah we got some. Come on, come on headshots. There it is. 
Except not a headshot. Got a max on that side. So we'll just defend this one real quick. Get some shots. Like I said, consistency. Oh, the Razor is, is one of my favorite NC weapons. This is like skeet shooting. Problem that I'm, I'm going to run into real quick is uh, ammo. Don't have any engineers up here at all. Which I'm, you know, that's fine. We have uh, enough people up here to make it. Uh, yeah, we have 56% 56 pop right now, but. Let's see, what, do we, what else do we have fallen? Uh, okay, okay. Tarwix, you can go back. We can actually tank the point now. I'm going to head over there. Jump on over. So taking that point. Dropping these poor guys. Maybe we'll get an engineer up here eventually. Maybe not. This is uh, this is going to be a really easy point hold unless something changes with the uh, the population balance. But we are definitely running out of ammo. Do I see an ammo pack somewhere under? Right, it took a little bit too long to to jump out of out of cloak there. Good, good, good. Okay. So at this point, um, once you have, like, we got the capture point, what we want to do is kind of just keep the the entrances bogged down. So 60-40, That's not um, it's not horrible. They can <clears throat> they can swing a you know small group of people, and then we'll have an even fight on our hands. But at this point, once we have vehicles inside, it's really hard to uh, to retake the base. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that for them. Let's redeploy. Find somewhere else. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, he was already reloading. It took him a little bit too long to, to kill that guy who was um kind of sitting there looking at the vehicle terminal. He's not gonna. Is he? Yeah, yay! Not exactly in a good position, though. But check and pop balance, still wicked over pop, actually more so than before. So we're going to try to find a new fight. Quartz Ridge, yeah, why not? Why not? Head on down to Quartz Ridge. It's a fun base to defend. And uh, also a fun base to attack, depending on the circumstances. A little bit easier to, uh, to attack from the... You know, I think it's kind of a toss-up, actually. I think attacking it from the south is, is easier, but um, I don't see a lot of attacks from the north either, so there might be... Might just be talking just for the sake of talking. Not quite enough. Let's see what we can see. One here. Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Got another one over here. Ugh. This gun is just so so accurate. Oh, so accurate. I got a, a sniper down here and just gonna peek my head out for no real reason. Let's see if I can drop one down a little bit. Oh, run for your life! Oh! Don't do it! Don't find me! And the beamer. Stalker cloak infiltrator? Maybe. Yeah, most likely. Okay, so not too bad. Light assault would still be um pretty ideal here, but we can let's switch to our heavy and we're gonna defend this point right here, because that's where they're all coming up. Switch over to our, you know, let's play with the uh I really want to play with the uh, Razor some more. Let's do that. This one has HVA on it. Last one did not, but um, yeah, gonna rock this engineer class. See if we could find that Sunday. Maybe pick off some some stragglers. Got the infiltrator up here, maybe. Looking at the the mini map, which you should always have an eye on, no matter what you're doing. Actually, we're gonna switch out. Nope, there's no terminals over here. That's fine. That's fine. 
Gonna wait until this infiltrator takes a shot. And then I'm gonna... There it is. Uh, not an infiltrator, just a random light assault. Gonna head over here. We want to get to about where that waypoint is. Ooh. Dodge some. Some sniper. Some snipey snipes. I'm looking, can't really find anything. You can hear that there's a there's a heavy down here. Yeah, there is. Oh, man. That was me. It was all me. Gonna go right there. Actually, switch up the loadout just a little bit. For reasons. Reasons unknown. ACX 11. Did I review this? I think I did. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Gonna play with that. It has a um, straight up and down, like vertical recoil. And provided you can handle that, provided you can drag down and burst appropriately, it's a super, super accurate weapon. And it has the uh, the 200 damage model, which... um. Oh, I don't like this. This reticule. Reticle. It's fine, though. Let's see if we can... I'm trying to key spot through the, the uh, walls there. Nothing, so... Maybe nothing. Quick check. The scythe up above really can't do a whole lot to us. We have a uh, Spitfire turret. So we're gonna... It's a little bit too far away to, to do anything useful to, uh, to enemies. Unless they get up in, in this area, then we can kind of put it on the roof. But we do definitely want to defend the spot because it's, it's basically a gateway. You can go underneath to Charlie, uh, to Charlie, and also up and around to, uh, was that, Alpha? Drop some ammo. We also want to stay out of line of sight. Of, oh my god! Out of line of sight of the... Uh, what a sneaky little light I saw. You know, I, I think I saw him run up too. But didn't expect him to fly up there. Definitely didn't hear him. I like that though. I like the slowdown. Take the teleporter. Which brings us a little bit more north. Let's start working this direction. I want to, um... Uh, you already got ammo. I want to go see if that lightning's down there. What I want to do is drop a Sunderer right up against that, um... that A point. I'm gonna check the bottom for mines. No, we already got a Sunderer down there. Doesn't matter too much what I pull at this point, but... Why are you so fat? Why are you so fat, Sunderer? Yeah, we're just gonna drop this here. Do it! Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, snap! Proxy mines, got any more? Any more for me? Okay. He's dead. That, uh, that recon dart is wow. Oh, shotgun right to the mouth! Missed a lot of shots. Personal error, for sure. Rocking that 4.2 KDR. Don't mind if I do. That's fine. I can live with that. You can hear a, uh, an enemy max unit. Up top. Drop a proximite here. And maybe one right here in case they decide to, to jump off. But, uh, yeah, this is... It's probably gonna go down. How you like that? Sitting so close to the Sunderer isn't this, uh, it's not so ideal. If they took a Light Assault, this would be an easy, easy kill. And a whole lot of experience, but, uh... I don't think anybody's gonna take us out. Not yet. Not yet. I don't think I got him. Nah, I didn't get him. Uh, I could put that there. He's on up. Oh, this guy is going ham on nothing. 
Okay. Good. Put this right here. <clears throat> and we got some more proxy mines. Drop the one there. Oh, take him! Take him! Do it, Spitfire! So slow, Spitfire. What's up with that? Reverse on you a little bit. <clears throat> so we definitely want to get back, double back, get that Charlie, that Bravo point. It's not, uh... Oh, what are we getting hit by? Gotta find it. Alpha's getting snaked now, too. No, I got... Got a heavy up here. Maybe a Vortex Max. I think it's heavy. Gonna work inside. Double check. Boom. There you go. Have some ammo. Gotta stick around for the capture experience. But run on up. So you want to double back now, check on the Bravo. Got a nice little overpop going, 9%. Boop. Very accurate weapon. Lots of fun to use. Toss this right up here. Thought I heard somebody. Yeah, maybe. There's one, got another one right here. Nice little kill. I think we got him on the ropes right now. <clears throat> but Bravo is uh, a little bit more annoying to take. It's a standard, like split level. I actually can't remember what you call them. But uh, it's got those nice steps on the right hand side. Very easy to defend. Oh, oh. <sighs> nice 33% damage from a teammate there. Hopefully, maybe, get a medic. Control F10, let's see if we see anything, no. And actually we can't see on the map anymore, nearby medics, so it's kind of a, it's not a, not a great situation, but there was a medic nearby, that makes it a little bit easier. Oh, grenade! Yeah, when it comes to dealing with, with uh, enemy maxes, I just kind of got to go for it. I mean, even if we didn't outnumber like that, putting damage will, on the target will cause them to retreat. Unless it's a scat max and you're not going to put much damage at all, but... Checking for the <coughs> infiltrator. Follow these guys in. Oh, come on! Three of us against one guy with the lasher. That's not good. But they're basically pushed out of this fight. We could go wherever we want and uh, probably still take this. It's it's not uh, good in the traditional sense to, to abandon a base beforehand spawns right there. Abandon the base beforehand because it's pretty easy to uh, to tip the balance if you get a gal drop come in, take a point behind enemy lines, forces the rest of your guys back, you have to go deal with it, and that uh, lets the, you know, uh, lets the attackers come, push their way down. But we're not going to see that because it's not an alert, at least not on this continent. You have one on Ezemir right now. So that's where all the strategy is happening, you know. Could try to go to Esmir, probably won't get in, just because of the uh, membership queue. Actually, you know what, I'm going to stick around, see if I can pick people off. This fight is about over, and as soon as we drop the Sunday, it will be. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's it. That is it. Oh, yeah. 
See what other fights we got going on. Azimir, might as well check the queue, right? Uh, oh. Tarek main spawn. Eh, not too many people there. Azimir, oh sweet. Instant port, right? And don't mind if I do. All right, let's find ourselves a good fight. Mighty Fortress is super easy to defend, super, super easy. And you got a lot of people here at the Biolab, which means that this fight is going to go for a while. Uh, it could be, could be an easy farm, or it could be just a painful game of cat and mouse, or maybe they'll be sitting in the, uh, the Biolab waiting. It really depends, but we're going to go check it out. Seems like a good idea. Head up. We could go defend Bridge Ward. That would be probably a better idea as far as strategy is concerned. But, ah, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be taken regardless. But we could possibly get down to, uh, there's too many mountain pass. When I'm looking at this map, it's, uh, it's me, right? It's, it's what I, what can I do to, uh, to help just as a, a solo player? Because I'm not squatting up. Not that we won't in the future, but, uh, it's just... Not today. It's just not today. You have uh, 24 to 48 here, and an even pop fight here, which means that they can definitely out pop us if they if they pick up the pace a little bit. Oh, it's gonna go on. Come on, guys. This guy's gonna nail me with the halberd. I'll try to avoid it. I actually want to double around. See if I can. See if I can get that uh, doggery. We do have um. <laughs> so much. That's so much. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, look at me. Shh, 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 shh. Like, wait. All right. That's a, it's a little far off, but uh, I'm gonna actually sit here and defend it for a little bit. Yeah, they, they can take this base pretty easy. Oh, there it is. Banshee. No, oh, Needler, nice. Even better. But yeah, they got the overpop going. They still got reserves. Oh, they got so many reserves right here, too. That's, what, one, two, three squads? More? More than that. A couple of platoons. We can drop, uh, jump on A point. Try to defend that. They're just going to keep taking us out. What we should be doing is switching to, um, oh, completely missed that. Switching to Burster Max and then dealing with the air because the air is what's really suppressing us and keeping us basically out of this fight. This is a very easy base to defend. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have to deal with air. Because you got the walls, so tanks really can't do much of anything at all. What do we have for resources? Like, next to nothing. Okay, you know what? Let's take our lock on launcher, see what we can do with that. The problem is that when you get on the roof to, to try to get a beat on people, you're also wicked exposed. So. Yeah, I just got pegged there. Oh. Them resist colors. Oh, I don't mind if I do. But if we can grab somebody on the side. Boom. There it is. We do have a Burster Max up here, so we're going to basically try to assist him. And supplement that, that damage. So we focus fire on the targets, gives them not so long to uh, to run away. Because burst is burst is everything. It really is. Come on, come on. Oh! Would have been so funny if it just give them max. I can jump down there, scrap a little bit. Oh, nice! Oh, that concussion kill. Oh, snap. Concussive TK. I take some some real skill. 
I'm not gonna lie. I think this base is basically lost. <laughs> yeah, 70% over pop. Plus we can't deal with the uh, the vehicle, so it's not like... We can't, yeah, we just can't do a whole lot. Unless we get some some allies here helping us. Which I don't think is going to be the case, but... But you never know, you can, you can cross fingers. I'll cross fingers. But right now this is just a farm. Just a farm. This guy kamikaze. Let's jump right in. Resist shield is uh kind of fun for for little point holds like this because you you don't have to be as aggressive, so you can avoid getting jumped on, which is what. What really makes a uh, resistance shield even worthwhile. You have to have the health, you have to have the um, the shields, and that'll get you. And that'll really maximize your, your effective health. Oh! Not doing him any favors. Alright. Let's see if we can jump right in here again. Look at all those red dots on the minimap. Oh man. And what's funny is that we got another uh, almost two minutes to sit here and, and farm. Whoop. Yeah, see I activated that shield way late, right? I was already down, my shield bar was gone. And that's basically, that's why you'd want to run NMG or Adrenaline Shield over resist, is that if you don't activate resist beforehand, then it's basically useless. Let's see if I can... Uh, maybe? No, he's gonna duck out. No? No. Not allowed. Stand on up. Stand on up. Oh, it hurts! Alright, now I'm out of position. And what's, what's cool about this base, as far as attacking goes, is that you do have this flank and you can just see all the way over the spawn room, right? So they have us like completely surrounded, which which could even be the case without 75% pop they have right now. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's just a, it's a really fun base to defend and you do have a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, it's usually so easy to defend. North Point, this, this is where the fight will go. Afterwards, I mean, uh, it depends on who's leading the platoon. Because North Point is a base where you just, you kind of stick there. Three-point capture base, and it could be a, a little bit tricky. What you might see is, um, is people going to reinforce Sarah Listening Post. Because the fight's about even. You bring Galaxy over, and you can, you can easily throw that. You get, basically, I mean... One free capture point sitting at C, while well, you have all the defenders in the tower. Because C is way over here, which means that you just send a small squad, they sit there, and there's a lot of travel time from either base to get to that uh, that capture point. But we're going to go, let's go Watterson's Redemption. 60% over pop VS here. Not, that's not terrible, depending on if we're already in the spawn room or not. So if we are already locked in the spawn room, the fight's basically over. And that seems to be the case. See all this right here? So we're just going to duck out, leave, it's a lost cause, it's three minutes of time wasted where you can uh, spend it better elsewhere. My my money's on Sarah Listening Post, so we're going to head up that way. Actually, you know what, let's, uh, let's sit at East River for a little bit, try to clear out some Sundays, maybe? It depends. It really depends. Yeah, so they have a center underneath the base. Which you can tell because of uh, all the red dots on my minimap. Try to find them. Oh, look at all these anti-tank mines. 
Probably gonna get stuck in the back. Ugh. There's a hit. There's a hit. It's a really nice base to, uh, to farm in that gal. Lots of, lots of targets. This is a nice little, cozy little spot, because you have the, the jumping, jumping pad right here. And there's very few ways to get up onto this base. You can use uh, ladders from the south, or you can use the two jump pads, one to the east, one to the west. And that's about it. It like, it forces you to, uh, just checking real quick. Yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, you like that? You like that? Okay. Come on, come on. I'm trying, trying so hard not to shoot my teammates. Well, this is a farm, right? No way around it. This is a nice little farm. Got a couple coming in. There's one. All right. So what this fight is right now is it's literally a farm. There is not a whole lot that, uh, I mean, we could jump down there, but the best way to take care of this, to take care of this problem, right, is to pull armor. Because everything's on the ground level. So as much as we are separated, you know, it's easy to defend. As much as we are separated from the enemies, they're also separated from us being able to, to deal with them. You could take phoenixes, actually, if you were to sit here, you can just drop phoenixes on them, but, um... We don't actually have... I don't have any coordination, yeah, with the squad or anything, so... Not quite. So I could sit here and farm. I could farm all day. Farm all day. But we probably should do something a little bit more interesting, just so I'm not boring you to death. That's it, let's go see. Let's go take a look-see. What they got over here. I'm gonna move a little bit, adjust my position in the air. That's called directional influence if you play Super Smash Bros. Oh, he's got me spotted, but nobody's doing anything just yet. Yeah, not a whole lot there. If I bring uh, if I bring C4, I can actually probably deal with that. So I might go down and do that. Might as well. Pick up C4. And if we weaken just one of the sides, it would be a very uh, different fight. Oh, there's a infiltrator. Took my hand off the mouse for a moment. Ugh. Okay. Well, evidently, things are happening. Can we, like, kill the. Like, what are you guys doing? I focus on the the softer targets. See if we can just scare him away a little bit. Like this guy, he'll he'll jump out. And this is a, a great place to, to get a beat on all sorts of uh, of enemies. It's just such a fun little base. I'd like to see more use of verticality in plant side too. It's definitely an area that um, isn't explored often enough. Jump down here. I don't want to be this far. I don't want to be this far. No, please. Nobody saw me. Nobody saw me. One. Some headshots. Got that lightning tank. Come on, stand up. Enemy lightning tank 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Alright, so what do we got here? Sun over here. These ones, uh, doesn't look like, I don't know, there might still be a Sun down there. They might have taken it out too. But, galaxy up here, Liberator up here, Liberator over top. Lots of firepower, but this base is just so defensible that they really gotta make a push all together. And then, where you push into, it's pretty easy to, to take the base. Like, if everybody decided to go up the ladders, it'd be, it'd be difficult to stop. Especially with all that air overhead. But, they're not, so there's not enough, um, coordination here. This guy's solo living. Just a quick note is that you can resupply very, very quickly, like my rocket launcher is filled up, right? So if I I'll fire off around, go back, I'm gonna switch weapons and then switch back. Boom. It's, it's full up. Actually, this is the rocket launcher. <laughs> it's a nice little bug. But, um... If you don't switch weapons, and you do that, you try to get the, the instant refill, you're actually going to... Uh, oh, I got him! Oh, nope, not yet. It'll, it'll bug and make you sit through a full uh, reload animation, which is something you want to avoid. So you switch weapons before before you uh, try that quick resupply. That grenade just popped out of nowhere. All right, gonna sit back down here again. Control this area, that's what you want to do. So we could sit down here. Tried and true, really easy to defend. And you can always jump right up here. And that's the uh, wall jumping. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's um, it's worth a look. A very, very common technique. Yeah, how's it feel? Oh, oh! Probably felt like that. Picked up, picked up. Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Another fun strategy is taking a bunch of Spitfire turrets. Uh, we got four, not three. And you put them all together and defending jump pads, it's like enemies will die before they, they really render everything. It's just it's so funny. But uh, yeah, let's head over. They got the gal drop going right now, so. I'm gonna try to. That's Vindicor. Vindicor! So that's one of their, some of their leadership. Take that out. Got people on top. Ugh. We still got our, yeah, we still got our uh, C4, unfortunately. Could really do with some medkits right now, but. It's not too bad. All right, got 60% pop. They they did what we were talking about earlier. They needed to drop everybody on this point or get everybody up the ladders. This side of the base is easier to to deal with because the spawn room's not right here, right? And when you jump, you jump right into the middle, which is, you know, short distance. So what you're doing, you can either jump here, like if you have full force, cut them off right at the spawn room, or you go here, this is a safer route, and then you work them back because it's, it's very difficult to, to take this once you lose it. Oh, hi. What? I like that little, little jump. Can do that again. Switch some med kits, maybe a little bit more uh, success there, but I like being on the ground. Everybody else is focusing up on the. Uh, a lot of people focusing on the, the air right now. Gonna clear this a little bit. This is pretty clear. Look pretty good. Right. Don't like being blind, so I wanna wanna try to get a spot on somebody before I engage too deep here. Unfortunately we don't have any recon happening. Let's see. Got a guy over here. Got one to the right, one right here. Dead. 
Sweet. Okay, found him. It's an NG over here. Not paying attention. And he just used all of his ammo, so... Nice little delay. Oh, the 257 ping. That probably had something to do with it. So we're, we're basically pushed out of this base because they had they had what we needed to to hold on to, you know, right on the capture point. Actually, defending this is, is a smarter idea, but it's very susceptible to, you know, getting dropped on if you don't have enough anti-air, which we definitely did not. And that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Nice little play session. I'm not going to sit through the end of the alert. There's still a ways to go. But hopefully you enjoy these. Hopefully you picked up something useful. And if you did learn anything of value, let me know in the comment section down below. Because we'll, we'll talk about it. The build that I was using just here at the end was GD22S. It's a great weapon. Super, super solid. Uh, forward grip. It pulls a little bit to the right. And you also have access to the, uh, the anchor, which has a, a higher rate of fire. Actually, let's compare stats. Has a higher rate of fire. But uh, the reload is is a lot longer too. So when it comes to um, to staying topped off, dealing with a couple of targets and being able to switch up and go back, it's uh, yeah, GD22S is where it's at. Anchor is a three shot headshot kill if you with soft point, so out to 15 meters. If you are that good, which most people are not, but the also uh, the increased rate of fire is also good because it's a flat benefit and the. The recoil patterns between the two weapons are pretty much the same. Well, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comment section down below. Thanks very much, folks. Rail signing off.